द पार्स ऑफ द माइंड पार्ट फोर द यूटिलिटी ऑफ दिस साइंस इज टू ब्रिंग आउट द परफेक्ट मैन एंड नॉट लेट हिम वेट एंड वेट फॉर एजेस जस्ट अ प्ले थिंग इन द हैंड्स ऑफ द फिजिकल वर्ल्ड लाइक अ लॉग ऑफ ड्रिफ्ट वुड कैरिड फ्रॉम वेव टू वेव एंड टॉसिंग अबाउट इन दी ओशन दिस साइंस वॉन्ट्स यू टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग टू टेक द वर्क इन योर ओन हैंड्स instead of leaving it in the hands of nature and get beyond this little life that is the great idea man is growing in knowledge in power and happiness continuously we are growing as a race we see that is true perfectly true is it true of individuals to a certain extent yes but yet again comes the question where do we fix the limit I can see only at a distance of so many feet but I have seen a man close his eyes and see what is happening in another room if you say you do not believe it perhaps in 3 weeks that man can make you do the same it can be taught to anybody some persons in 5 minutes even can be made to read what is happening in another man's mind these facts can be demonstrated now if these things are true where can we put a limit If a man can read what is happening in another mind in the corner of this room why not in the next room why not anywhere we cannot say why not we dare not say that it is not possible we can only say we do not know how it happens material scientists have no right to say that things like this are not possible they can only say we do not know science has to collect facts generalize upon them deduce principles and state the truth that is all but if you begin by denying the facts how can a science be there is no need to the power a man can obtain this is the peculiarity of the indian mind that when anything interests it it gets absorbed in it and other things are neglected you know how many sciences had their origin in india mathematics began here you are even today counting 1 2 3 etc to 0 after sanskrit figures and you all know that algebra also originated in india and that gravitation was known to the indians thousands of years before newton was born you see the peculiarity at a certain period of indian history this one subject of man and his mind absorbed all their interest and it was so enticing because it seemed the easiest way to achieve their ends now the indian mind became so thoroughly persuaded that the mind could do anything and everything according to law that its powers became the great object of study charms magic and other powers and all that were nothing extraordinary but a regularly taught science just as the physical sciences they had taught before that such a conviction in these things came upon the race that physical sciences nearly died out it was the one thing that came before them different sects of yogis began to make all sorts of experiments some made experiments with light trying to find out how light of different colors produced changes in the body they wore a certain colored cloth lived under a certain color and ate certain colored foods all sorts of experiments were made in this way others made experiments in sound by stopping and unstopping their ears and still others experimented in the sense of smell and so on the whole idea was to get at the basis to reach the fine parts of the thing and some of them really showed most marvelous powers many of them were trying to float in the air or pass through it i shall tell you a story which i heard from a great scholar in the west it was told him by a governor of ceylon who saw the performance a girl was brought forward and seated cross legged upon a stool made of sticks crossed After she had been seated for a time the showman began to take out one after another the cross bars when and when all were taken out the girl was left floating in the air the governor thought that there was some trick so he drew his sword and violently passed it under the girl nothing was there now what is this it was not magic or something extraordinary that is the peculiarity no one in india would tell you that things like this do not exist to the hindu it is a matter of course you know what the hindus would say often when they have to fight their enemies oh one of our yogis will come and drive the whole lot out 
It is the extreme belief of the race. What power is there in the hands of the sword? The power is all in the spirit.